Hey, hi, Chris Dennis here, City of Vaughan Fire and Rescue Services. Here today to go over our new SVI hazmat vehicle. Our fire department is over 340 fire personnel and our uh, population is around 330,000. Uh, we run out of 10 full-time fire stations. Uh, we run between uh, 17 to 20 front-run apparatus with a total of about 27 uh, suppressional and uh, specialized pieces of equipment. Um, I'd like to take a couple of minutes to just show you some of the special features about this truck that uh, we have spec'd. Um, I've been being a Spartan cab SVI chassis, our cab. Um, the uh, operational back half of this truck is uh, created and designed for um, inside weather operations so that our hazmat crew uh, would be safe as well as being able to uh, monitor all the computers and the, any of the weather stations, that sort of thing. So one of the other things that we've done with our hazmat truck is uh, we've created it as one big rolling toolbox. Um, each individual compartment has a specialized uh, piece of equipment that goes on it. Um, the trays were designed and created so that they could be extended out at 100% and carry up to 1,000 pounds uh, so that uh, they are versatile with uh, the ever-changing roles that, that happens in hazmat within the community. I mean, besides electrics and doors, the truck is fully multiplexed, which makes it uh, easier to repair as time goes on in regards to maintenance. One of the other big features for us is that we put an awning on this truck. And the awning in this particular case, uh, either than being environmentally, uh, an environmental uh, sunshade, uh, also helps for our crews when they're donning and doffing um, their particular amount of gear. Uh, a walk and rescue in our case, we didn't feel was feasible only because of the amount of space that it takes up. So the awning has given us that versatility, obviously based on weather conditions, on whether it can be used or not, but the size of the cab too is, will enable our firefighters to don and doff any specialized gear um, on the inside of the cab. As I alluded to earlier, the compartments that we have as well as the trays, we do have some very heavy specialized pieces of equipment and in our spec design, um, we were trying to figure out the best way uh, and the most user-friendly as well as financially viable um, means of being able to lift equipment off especially in today with uh, health and safety being a mainstay, especially with our department in particular, is how do we move the equipment on and off the truck and do it so that our firefighters aren't getting hurt, so that we continue to do our job uh, 100%. So I'd like to take a minute, I'll walk you around to the back of the truck and we we'll can show you the uh, piece of equipment that we had added on. So one of the great features that uh, uh, we uh, were in discussion with was SVI is how do we egress to the top of the truck? There's a lot of space on the top of these trucks that aren't being used. Um, and in some cases, the means of egress is a ladder built onto the back of the truck. Um, what we've done here, we've actually created uh, these, the stair system, and within the stair system is actually storage compartments as well. So every riser has a place for another piece of equipment. Once we get up these stairs, uh, we, I do want to show you now a specialized piece of equipment that's called a davit crane, and it's a crane that we use to lift heavier items off of one side of the truck. Uh, it's uh, a Weston crane, it's actually rated for 1,000 pounds. The heaviest piece of equipment that we have that we would lift off this truck weighs approximately 450 pounds. The idea of the crew would be mechanically set up by two firefighters and then electronically it's operated by hand so that you can actually see what you're lifting. We can take a look over the far side. There's a tent over on the other side which this crane will be able to elevate out of its drawer. Uh, the drawer will then be uh, pushed back into the vehicle and the crane lowered to the ground so that it can be on scene um, and set up quickly. As I alluded to again earlier, this way we're not worried about firefighters being hurt physically by having to move heavy pieces of equipment. So then the crane as well, it's been engineered and designed by the folks here at SVI so they can be taken apart and stowed away quite easily in one of these compartments and then removed when needed. And then put in these bases that are on the floor, plugged in to an electric source and we're off. So here now on the ground, we had a look at the Dava crane that was up on the uh, top of the truck. We now have this particular compartment as well as the compartment that's behind it, which will house two very heavy pieces of equipment. This particular case, there's a decon tent. There's two of them that are in this compartment, hence why the sides are as tall as they are. Um, we have them so that the sides actually fold down. It makes for easier deployment. But the Dava crane itself, once it's lowered down, in this case, this design will actually bring it all the way down to the ground plus an additional foot of cable. Uh, in, in the event that it's ever required. In this case, it's only at this particular level we'll be able to elevate the um, tent off 
the tray, we'll call it a piece of equipment of any kind um, that's over and above the comfort level of anyone wanting to lift anything particular or anything single. Um, then the tray itself would be pushed back in and that particular piece of equipment would be lowered down to the ground. So we've taken away the possibility of being hurt as well. We've actually now been able to eliminate possibly four firefighters having to remove one piece of equipment down to one or possibly two if it's needed once the equipment gets down.